Chemistry in Ansar Saba and I will discuss about the technology in the teaching learning process. So first, let me ask that why we need technology in the teaching learning process. So according to David Warlick, that we need technology in every classroom and in every student and teacher's hand because it is the pen and paper of our time and it is the lens through which we experience much of our world. So in addition, we all know that technology is very important to us, especially nowadays that it is very rampant to all students who take the online classes. So we should bring and use the technology for us to learn more because we are now facing the challenges, which is the pandemic 2019. So in the teaching learning process, they have an educational technology. So technology guys can play a traditional role, example, delivery medium for instructional lessons or in a constructive way as partners. Educational technology has a way for teachers to deliver content to students by using different tools of modern technology. There are 12 categories about the tools of technology. So in the first one is the multimedia. Multimedia has development in computers, communication, electronics, and other multimedia tools provide a wide range of sensory stimuli. The second one is the audiovisuals and animations. Audiovisuals, video conferencing, short animations, etc. can be used in teaching learning process. The third one is the digital devices. The digital devices like cameras, scanners can be used for instruction. Fourth is the personal digital assistance or PDA. The PDA wireless devices are used as e-learner tools allowing the learners to access information anytime, anywhere. The fifth one is the community resources. This can be two via two modes, which is the asynchronous and the synchronous communication. Asynchronous, guys, it can be used like presentation, free flow discussion on the topic, seminars, and emails. While the synchronous, it can also be used for online lecture. The sixth one is the database. Database is a good source of materials put up by the government, libraries, and educational institutions. And the seventh one is the software libraries or digital libraries. Contains programs that the learners may download to their own computers. Software library also includes ebooks, interactive cities, and teaching tools. And the eighth one is the teacher to parent interactions. Online conversation with parents involve greater discussion about pedagogical issues and often focus on students' learning than they had been in traditional school settings. In other words, both parents and students can leave their own messages to the teachers through voicemail and other messaging system. And the nine one is the teacher-to-teacher -teacher interactions. Teachers around the world can share their instructional activities and experiences with each other. Number 10. Teacher-to-student interactions and student-to-student -student interaction. The students can decide a time to meet online and discuss the various aspects of the course on weekends and holidays. Number 11 is the online testing. Teacher may prepare a question bank and place it on the network. The students answer and submit the test. The last but not the least, the role of teacher in the present era. Teachers must be trained to effectively use the technology for planning and student instructions. On behalf of the topic, students can use information technologies to improve the ways of learning in new learning fashions, while on the other hand, teachers can use the information technologies to present the material in more interesting and attractive way. And that's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching my educational video vlog. Hope that you'll never forget to click the like, subscribe, and comment down below for more updates. God bless everyone. Bye-bye.